Shabushta. Father, we praise you. Lord, we bless your holy name. We give you glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Reba Baba Shaka Tali Koshteke. Reba Bae Kele Moshata Kali Koshteke Reboshta. Azambra Gede Bosa. Azambra Gede Bosa. Azambra Gede Boska Ta. Ela Braya Kashokoto. Eze Pogodoshta Ka. Come on, praise him. Father, we praise you. Father, we bless your name. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise. We exalt your name. Makasha tele prokoshta ka ese begedo solokotom begedista. Oh, thank you for waking us to see a new day. Thank you for preserving our lives. Thank you for watching over us all through the night. For keeping us, for sustaining us. David said, I slept and I awoke because the Lord sustained me. This morning, don't think you are alive and well because you woke yourself up. Remember that somebody woke you up. Somebody said she's worthy. He is worthy to see another day. Somebody said, allow him. Allow her to see another day. He was God. And so when you wake up in the morning, you say, Father, I thank you for permitting me to see another day. For allowing me to see another day. I bless your name. Mara I thank you for counting me worthy, not just to see another day, but to see another month. There are many who started last month with us, last month, but they are no more. There are many who started last two months, but they are no more. Some went to sleep last night and today they are no more. But you ought to thank God because every day you keep on waking up, not because you are better, not because you are fine not because you pray more, not because there's so much grace on your life, no but his mercies confirmed his mercies confirmed that you are worthy to see another day the mercies of God has said no to the spirit of death when he came knocking at your door the mercies of God said no this morning I want you to say Father I thank you for your mercy that keeps saying no to the spirit of death the spirit that terminates lives and destinies, whenever he comes knocking at my door, I I thank you because you keep on saying no to him. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of life. Reba Kashata. Remember the story of the rich man in the Bible. He had gathered. He looked at his farm. He looked at his vineyard. Everything was going well. And he started making plans for the future. He started making plans for the future. And then the Lord said, you foolish man, tonight I'm going to require your life. So many of us are making plans for the future. And the spirit of death is already at the door. Not at my door in the name of Jesus. Not at your door. In the mighty name of Jesus. But today you come under the umbrella of the mercies of God. Today say I come under your umbrella. The umbrella of the mercies of God. It covers me. It shields me. It protects me. It guides me. And I thank you Father. For your daily mercies over my life. Kabaye shondo rokutusi karanda. E prute kaskili marotoko. Zubrengi gadoskete. O zuli bragadish. Kenduru kutusandalia. E pratu kaskatele. Kumbre gadushteke. O zebradia tata. Zikri toto. Zopreketa. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for divine protection. Thank you for covering my life. Thank you for covering me. Covering me and shielding me from acts Accidents that should have taken my life from sleep that should have taken my life. You know, there are some sleeps that are unto death. It's not everybody that dies by accidents, dies by falling, dies from sickness. Some people die as they sleep. But you slept and you woke up. You ought to be grateful. You ought to be grateful. Say, Father, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for preserving my life, for not making me pass on to the other side from my sleep. Thank you, Father, for the gift of life. Maye bo shatari gadoshte. Maye bo shatari gadoshte. Rege do goduga ziga bragadoshte ke. And I thank you because even as you have kept me alive to see a new month, you will sustain me all through the month of May. Oh, Father, I thank you because you're going to sustain me all through the month of May. You're going to keep me. You're going to watch me all through the month of May. Every day in the month of May, the Lord sustains, the Lord protects, the Lord guides, the Lord shields me by day and by night in the name of Jesus Christ. All throughout the month of May. Kabaya da supra gadoshteke. Kumbra gazili kabara katoskete. Say, Father, I thank you for your covering over my life. Thank you for your covering over my family. Thank you for your cover. No money can cover you. Only God can cover you. 
Only God can cover you. Only God, if God does not cover you, even those covering you in prayer, they cover in vain. They cover in vain. Even those covering in prayer, they cover. If God does not protect, if God does not watch, if God does not preserve and put his hand on your life, say, Lord, I thank you because all through the month of May, you will sustain me. You will preserve me. You will keep me. You will cover me. You will shield me. You will protect me by day and by night. According to your word, the sun shall not smite me by day, nor shall the moon by night. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that I'm preserved and protected all through the month of May. I'm preserved and protected all through the month of May. My life is hid in Christ. My life is hid in Christ. Every day of the month of May, supernatural protection. Supernatural protection. Supernatural protection. I am covered. I am covered all through the month of May. I am preserved. My life is preserved. My home is preserved. My children preserved. My destiny preserved. My ministry preserved. My life, my finances, my business preserved. All through the month of May. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth wide, pray in the Holy Ghost. Kanda sili praka tokas katari kadoshta. Thank you for the month of May. Thank you because this month is blessed. This month is preserved. This month is sanctified. We sanctify the month of May. We sanctify the month of May. We decree that is a month of strength. It's a month of strength. A month of courage. A month of grace unto us. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The month of May is a month of strength, a month of courage, a month of grace in the name of Jesus. Marabashata, Eregedoske, Uragadiska, Mekrito Palikatazi, Ezegedosko, Torika Boshete. Come on, open your mouth and speak into the womb of the month of May. Rabana Siligarakato, Rabana Siligarakato, Rabana Siligarakato. We decree and declare that the month of May is a month of strength. A month of rising, a month of lifting, a month of rising and a month of lifting. In the name of Jesus, Kabaye, Lobreta, Susu, Peregado, Sata, Ikabaya, Sokoto, E Grendo, Shotori, Gemaka, Shutapa, E Ragadagade, O Sobragadegede, O Kabaye, Keto, Rakapayakata, E Reketo, Kupayakatekede, and speaking mysteries into the month of May, Ragadagadagada, E Preketo, Kosokoto, Esha brekita laka toskata. Entori kapravita sali gedoshte. The month of May is a month of strength. A month of liftings, a month of promotions, a month of elevation, a month of rising, a month of courage. Kaya bashata, ibrakas kotoria, a month of achievement. In the name of Jesus, e rabayaka tugadege zikata, e zubrege dege duga zuko toga brege deista. The month of strength. In the name of Jesus, the month of courage. Kabaya soli kretos te kere mashanda. We come against the spirit of discouragement. We come against the spirit of discouragement in our lives. In the month of May, we will not be discouraged. In the month of May, we will not be discouraged. We will not give up. We will not relent in prayers. We will not relent in prayers. We will not give up on God. We will not give up on God's vision in our life. We will not give up on give up on our purpose. We will not give up on our assignments. In the month of May, it shall be a month of strength, a month of courage, a month of lifting spiritually. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The month of May shall be a month of lifting. In the name of Jesus, spiritual lifting. 
physical lifting in the mighty name of Jesus. Liftings in my life, liftings in your life, liftings in my ministry, liftings in my business, liftings in my finances, liftings all over my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come against the spirit of discouragement that wants to go over and move in the lives of people, that wants to breathe over people. We come against it, we sabotage that assignment. We conquer that assignment. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus that the spirit of discouragement cannot stay. We do not permit you to come into our homes. We do not permit you to come into my life. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. I do not permit the spirit of discouragement into my life. I do not permit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that this is my month of strength. This is my month of courage. Kaya bashanda li bradosh deke. Sumbre ti yado kasuza brada gadis kata. Sumbre ti kete. This is the month of strength. I refuse to be discouraged. I cancel the assignment of discouragement in my life. I cancel the assignment of discouragement in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I speak into the month of May. That you are a month of strength. You are a month of lifting. A month of rising. A month of courage. I enter into the month of May. And I conquer. I overcome. I conquer. I rise. I am lifted. I rise. I am lifted. Every day of the month of May, I am encouraged. I am strengthened. My right hand is strengthened. My left hand is lifted. In the month of May, my right hand is strengthened. My left hand is lifted. In the month of May, in Jesus' name. I just feel the power of God all over me and I release it to you right now in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God hit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of God touch you right now. Let it impart strength into you. Let it impart courage into you in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel that assignment of discouragement. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, this is not your end. I don't know who I am speaking to. Maybe you're on Mixellar or you're on Instagram. I decree that this is not your end. Your end has not come. Your end has not come. This is not your end. This is not your end. I come against suicidal spirits. I come against suicidal spirits. Those thoughts of death that is telling you to end it. Saying just end this mystery. End your life. End it. Nothing good can come. I sabotage it. I destroy that spirit. In the name of Jesus. I shut their networks down. In the mighty name of Jesus. That spirit of lies telling you to end your life. Your life is not your own. You don't have the power to end it. You will be in error if you end your life. You won't do yourself any good. You only add to it if you end your life. We come against suicidal thoughts on this altar. We cancel it. We reject it in the name of Jesus. We reject it. Kabaye. Moskoti rima shandalia, Moskoti rima shandalia, Moskoto rima shandalia, Moskoto rima shandalia. Let me tell you something. The enemy is not just asking that person or whoever it is. It's not just the suicidal thoughts do not just come against your life. They can come against your ministry. It can come against your business. It can come against your marriage. It can come against your finances. Where the enemy has just told you, you know what? End that business. Just shut down that marriage. Shut down that business. Shut down that ministry. Shut down that assignment. It's suicidal mission. Every suicidal mission sent and assigned against my life and my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to speak against it. Say, I shut you down. I shut you down. I shut you down. He's not just looking to end lives. He's looking to end ministries. He's looking to end businesses. He's looking to end homes. He's looking to end marriages, end families. He wants to bring an end to God's vision in your life, God's assignment, God's purpose. But you're going to stand against it this morning. And you're going to speak in the name of the in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name, that every suicidal mission sent to your life, sent to your business, sent to your career, sent to your ministry, sent to your marriage. You shut it down in the name of Jesus. I shut you down. I shut you down. 
Pray for your spiritual leaders right now. Pray for your spiritual leaders right now. Pray for your leaders that every suicidal thought in their mind going through their minds that you arrest it. I arrest the spirit that is telling my spiritual leader to end their ministry, end their life, end their business, end their career, end their church, end what God has called them to do. I come against it in the name of Jesus and I arrest you in Jesus name. Pray for your leader. Just two people. You can mention one leader. Mention to mention as many as you can. And begin to intercede on their behalf. That in the name that is above every other name. Every suicidal thought that is coming through their mind. We arrest it. We arrest it. We arrest it. That spirit that is telling them to end it. We arrest it in the name of Jesus. Kabayaba Shanda Libra Doshtiki. Every spirit lying to you, lying to your pastor, lying to your prophet, lying to your, your minister, whoever it is, your evangelist, your prophet, your teacher, whoever it is, it might be your youth teacher in class, in, in church, telling them to end it. Say, Father, I come against that spirit. I arrest that spirit and I shut his network down. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The spirit, the spirit of the, 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 the spirit of death, he came roaring at Elijah. Came roaring at Elijah. Elijah said, God, let me end it now. Let me end it. You think that all leaders you see they are strong and mighty. You tell hey, this person is standing. Deep down there might be chaos. Deep down there might be collapsing. Deep down there might be falling. You're going to be speaking for them over your spiritual leaders that every suicidal mission that has been raised against their life, raised against their ministry, raised against their marriage, raised against their church, raised against their assignment, we shut it down in the name of Jesus. We cancel it. We cancel it. We cancel it. Lord, it will not stand. Lord, it will not see the light of day. It will not stand. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of depression that is bombarding our minds. Bombarding our minds. We come against the spirit of depression. Open your mouth. Every spirit of depression bombarding my mind. I arrest you. I cast you out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Don't tolerate him. Don't tolerate. Don't give him an inch in your mind. The month of May is a month of strength, a month of lifting, a month of courage, a month of strength, a month of lifting. I receive a lifting, liftings every day, liftings every day, rising every day. In the month of May, I rise, I'm lifted, I'm elevated. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now you're going to be praying for your spouse. You're going to pray for your husband. And you're going to pray for your wife. You're going to pray for your husband. And you're going to pray for your wife. You're going to arrest the spirit of discouragement. The spirit of discouragement and depression. The spirit that is lying to them. Telling them to end it. To end it. I am a Santa. Do you know how many things go through the minds of people that you're not even aware of? The other day I was online, I saw a video of a lady that was dancing. I was just scrolling through the ground. I saw the video of a lady that was dancing and they said this was 12 hours before she ended her life. And I was shocked because people are going through stuff that you're not aware of. The mind is going upside down. Their mind is turning on its own. And you are looking at them smiling and laughing. You're looking at your husband. You don't know what he thought of the day before. You're looking at your wife. You don't know what she, what she has been thinking, what she has been battling with in her mind. So you're going to intercede and stand in the gap for your spouse this morning. And you're going to arrest and shut down the spirit of the spirit of error, the spirit of death that is speaking suicidal thoughts into their mind. You're going to shut down their mission. Every mission of death, every mission of suicide assigned over my spouse, over my husband, over my wife. I shut your work down. I shut you up. I cancel. I cancel that mission. I decree that that mission fails. That mission fails. That mission fails. In in the name of Jesus failure in the mighty name of Jesus every mission of death 
every mission of suicide assigned over my life, over my husband, over my wife. I cancel you in the name of Jesus. Cancel it. Shut it down. In the month of May, we will not hear any news about death or suicide concerning us, concerning our children, concerning our spouses, concerning our spiritual leaders. None shall die. None shall die. We come against the spirit of death, untimely death that wants to arrest and snuff lives out of our hands. Take people out before their time. We come against it. We shut the doors against you. We shut the doors against you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tori mayo bara bashada le bara bashanda liya. Tori bayo bara bashaba le bara bashanda liya. E brege do gozuga da. E brege do gozuga da. O rabaya gadigede. We speak life into the month of May. We speak life into the month of May. There shall be no shutting down. There shall be no dying. There shall be no death. No death of life. No 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 life will die. No life will be lost. No one will die in the name of Jesus. No life will be ended. No business will die, no ministry will die, no church will die, no career will die in the month of May. We speak life, life to all that concerns us, life to all that concerns us. Open your mouth, speak life to all that concerns you. Marabasha katele mokosoto, e rege dege duga baskata, e brakata liketo ziata. Oh, in the month of May, there shall be no death in the name of Jesus. Kabaya bara gados keteri mashanda li gados keteri mashteke robas kepari ketos keparia robas kepari ketos keparia robas kepari keto we speak life 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 into all that concerns us life into our business life into our ministry life into our finances life into our career life into our health life into our marriage in the name of jesus christ rebaya kashonda brigados kata unko peniko sukoporia o krimti kosku prekatu su elis prekutusko prokotosh in kripa paye o su brekata o zokri kikata e geki kopokosko kopoleke teziata in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus we reject bad news concerning any member of our family. We reject bad news concerning our leaders. We reject bad news concerning our spouses. We reject bad news concerning our children. Oh, we stand against it. It will not come to pass. It will not see the light of day in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not see the light of day in the mighty name of Jesus. Kemayamasotiri O presu sikate, o presu sikate, o presu sikate, o presu sikate, e lembos koto, in brahi kata, shombre kata gadigaza. We come against the spirit of untimely death that is hovering, hovering over lives, hovering over families, hovering over marriages. We decree and we speak life into our marriage. Instead of death, we speak life. Instead of death, we speak life. Instead of death, we speak life into our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, the spirit of death hovering over families, hovering over children. We shut you down. We decree and declare that your plans will not be successful. Your mission has failed. Your mission fails. We speak failure into every mission of death in our homes. We speak failure into it. Every mission of death sent to our business, raised against our career. We speak life instead. We speak life instead. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pour him a sali bragoste keri bashandale. E prekus kotome a gishta mare gadoste ke. Rababa basali ge brogodoste kari mashandale. We come against the spirit that leads men to backslide. That causes people to backslide. We come against that spirit in the month of May. That, that, that allows spiritual lives to die. That brings death to fervent spiritual people. That brings death to people that were hot spiritually. People that were hot. People that are hot. That are on fire. 
We speak life into them. We speak life into them. And we decree and declare that their spiritual fire will not go down. My spiritual fire will not die. My spiritual light will not die. In the month of May, I rise spiritually. I increase. My tenacity increases. My strength increases. My light increases. My grace increases. My fire increases. In the name of Jesus, all through the month of May, spiritually I am lifted. Spiritually I I'm rising. I'm speaking over my life. Open your mouth and speak over yours. All up this year, I'm in the month of May. There is no quitting. There is no dying. There is no burning out. There is no weariness for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you rise and you keep on rising spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and speak over your life. No backsliding in the name of Jesus. I will not backslide. I will not fall in Jesus' name. Every pit that the enemy has dug for me and has said that this is where your fall will begin. I escape. I overcome. I overcome it. I overcome it in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. No spiritual falling. I will not fall spiritually. I will not fail spiritually. I will not be weary. I will not burn out. I will not burn out. I will not be discouraged. In the mighty name of Jesus. No backsliding. No backsliding in the mighty name of Jesus. There are some people here that are dealing with addictions. And you are saying the next time this thing comes against me. The next time I fall I will just stay there. You are just saying it to yourself that you know what. I think this is it. I think I cannot change. And it's affecting your spiritual life. Today I hold your hand in the spirit. And I decree and declare over your life that you rise above that addiction. You rise above that addiction. You rise above that addiction. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not fall anymore. The month of May you will be clean. By the spirit of God. By the grace of God. I speak grace over your life. Grace over your life. Grace to overcome addictions. Addiction that lead to backsliding. I speak grace over your life. You overcome that addiction. In the name of Jesus. The month of May. No falling for you. No falling for you. Strength. I speak strength. I speak strength over your life. Spiritual strength. Grace to overcome. I speak it over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I pray for everyone listening to me on Mixella. I pray for you this morning in the name of Jesus. I speak grace and strength over your life. Grace and strength over your life. Grace and strength over your life. No burning out. No weariness. No discouragement. You will not be tired. You will not be weary. In the mighty name of Jesus. Marabashata Kelebosokoto. You will not be tired. You will not be weary. Everyone watching me on Instagram. You will not be tired. You will not be weary. Strength is multiplied. In the month of May, you rise in strength. You rise in strength. You increase in strength. Your courage is renewed. Your strength is renewed every day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Marabashada liga bregedoshteke. Ente loko mokaski baraka tomokos konterebosheta. In prakatele ke prokutu kuskote moko shoteria. Ma bregede, ma bregede, ma bregede, ma bregede. O raba bashanda di bregados kete. Meke susu pelikata. Meke susu pelikata. Merege dega dega dos kete. No spiritual fatigue. No spiritual fatigue. No laziness. In the month of May, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord, I come against spiritual weariness, spiritual fatigue, I come against it. My strength is renewed, my strength is renewed, my strength is renewed, my strength, open your mouth and pray, my strength is renewed. I come against spiritual weariness, my strength is renewed in the name of Jesus Christ. A parakata zikete. We are waiting on the Lord today for 24 hours. 24 hours. We're going to be waiting on the Lord. You are allowed to drink water. You are allowed to drink water. But for 24 hours, no food. No food. That means we are praying till 12 midnight. It takes strength to do that. 
Let me show you what the Bible says. The Bible says, draw near unto me and I will draw near unto you. When we wait in the presence of the Lord, it's an opportunity for us to draw near unto God. It's an opportunity for us to close the gap, to breach the gap, to come closer to the Lord in the place of prayer and fasting and study of the word. Study of the word. Amen. Study of the word. And so today, as we are waiting on the Lord in the place of prayer and fasting and Bible study, we are drawing nearer to God. And we're going to be asking the Lord to highlight and remove everything that is hindering or hindering us from coming closer to Him, hindering us from drawing nearer all those distractions, even the ones you are not aware of. You're going to be asking the Lord to remove it from your life. Say, Father, highlight it. Whatever is hindering me from walking closely with you, this month of May is a month of spiritual intimacy. The month of May is a month of spiritual intimacy where you walk intimately with the Lord, where you walk closely with the Holy Spirit, where you become addicted to His presence. Where you become addicted to his dealings. Where you hear the Lord and you move. You hear the Lord and you move. That is what will become in the month of May. That is what will happen to me in the mighty name of Jesus. The month of May is a month of spiritual intimacy. And therefore, Father, as we draw nearer to you, let us experience that intimacy. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever it is that is hindering us from walking closely with the Lord. Lord, we ask that you highlight it and you bring it out of the way. Take 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 it out of the way. Of the way. Whatever it is that is hindering me, stopping me from drawing nearer to you even in the month of May. Whatever it is that is affecting my spiritual growth, affecting my spiritual life, affecting my prayer life, affecting me, oh God, Father, draw it out. Roll it out of the way in the mighty name of Jesus. I light it to me and roll it out of my life. I light it to me and take it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The month of May, I walk closely with you. In the month of May, I draw nearer to the Lord. In the month of May, I walk intimately with the Holy Ghost. In the month of May, I walk closely with the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kabaye torumo shokataria. Kabaye torumo shokataria. He says, draw near unto me and I will draw near unto you. Lord, as I seek your face, cause me to find you. Oh, let me find. He said, you will find me when you seek me with all of your heart. Not some, not 50%, not 80%. He said, after you have sought me with all of your heart, you will find me. Say, Lord, in the month of May, even from today, I find you. I find you as I seek your face in the place of prayer. Father, cause me to find you. Cause me to find you. Cause me to find you. Father, let me find you in the month of May. Let me see your face. I don't just want to see your hand. I want to see your face. I want to see your face. I want to walk closely with you. I want to walk closely with you in the month of me. I want to draw nearer to you in the place of prayer. I want to draw nearer to you in the place of worship. I want to draw nearer to you in the place of intercession. I want to draw nearer to you in the place of Bible study. In the mighty name of Jesus, the month of May ah, is a month of spiritual intimacy. Oh Lord, let my walk with you be accelerated. Let my spiritual growth be accelerated like never before. In the month of May, let my spiritual growth be accelerated like never before. Let my spiritual growth be accelerated like never before. Even today, we receive a lifting. We receive an acceleration. We receive a lifting. In the month of May, my spiritual growth will be accelerated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everything that has kept you down spiritually, today you break free. Today you break free. Say, I break free in the mighty name of Jesus from every shackle that has held me back I break free in Jesus name I break free in Jesus name in the month of May my spiritual growth is accelerated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I make progress I go forward I progress spiritually I make progress in the name of Jesus I go forward spiritually my life goes forward Oh Lord, I hear you in the month of May. I see you in the month of May. I walk with you in the month of May. I see you, I hear you, I walk with you. In the month of May, in the mighty name of Jesus, cause my eyes to see, cause my ears to hear, cause my heart to understand you. In the month of May, I walk intimately with the Lord. 
like never before. My spiritual growth will be accelerated. Oh, I experience spiritual acceleration. I experience spiritual acceleration. I experience, I experience spiritual acceleration on the wings of the spirit. Spiritual grace. I experience it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The month of May will overcome the power of the belly. As we separate today to wait upon the Lord, no food is going to touch our mouth for 24 hours. We overcome the power of the belly. We overcome flesh, everything that is hindering us from walking closely with God. Lord, we lay it at your altar this morning. We lay it at our altar, bad habits that are hindering us from walking closely with the Lord fleshly habits, carnality that is hindering us from walking closely with the Lord. We lay it at your altar in the mighty name of Jesus and we decree and declare that a new season begins. We decree a new season, a new season, a new season begins in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tori makara mashandalia. Tori makara mashandalia. Tori makara mashandalia. Tori makara mashandalia, prode suso, prode tegis katoria, prode tegis katoria, prode tegis katoria, e braya katoge duke zegede, e braya katoge suge zegede, e braya katoge suge zegede, e bregede gede gede, an end has come to every spiritual battle that is bombarding your life, weighing you down, weakening you spiritually. We decree an end has come to it in the name of Jesus. Every warfare that has been raised against you spiritually, come and speak over it and say, an end has come. An end has come. And I decree that the month of May is a month of victory back to back. Victory spiritually. Victory physically. Victory spiritually. Victory physically. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We experience acceleration. Supernatural acceleration, supernatural acceleration. My spiritual life, you experience supernatural acceleration in the mighty name of Jesus. Spiritually, I experience acceleration, I experience acceleration, I experience growth, I experience increase, I experience an expansion in my spiritual life in the mighty name of Jesus. In my walk with God, I experience sweetness, honey, kabaya, no struggle. In the mighty name of Jesus, there are heights that you have been willing to climb spiritually. There are depths that you have been wanting to get to. Heights and depths in the spirit. Heights in God. Depths in God that you have been willing, you have been yearning for. I don't know about you, but I'm yearning to go into heights, certain level of heights in God and certain level of depths in the spirit that I want to get into in the month of May. They are going to decree and I'm going to be decreeing over my life as well that this is the month it will happen. This is the month it will happen. This is the month it will happen where you will go into heights. You will attain heights in the Lord. You will attain depths in the spirit. You will go deeper in the world. Maya Bashada Libre Goduskata in the month of May. I attain heights in the Lord. I go into depths in the spirit and I go deeper in the world. In the mighty name of Jesus, starting from today, starting from today, starting from today. Kabalisi kerotos kataria. Kebrekus koturi gabashteke. Tambri gadara kasola bara katazia. Tambri gadala kasora gabara katazia. Ore baba, those are the keys to spiritual acceleration. Those are the keys to spiritual acceleration. Going, attaining heights in the Lord, depths in the spirit, and going deeper in the word. Those three combinations is bomb. Oh, those that three combination is bomb in the spirit. Bomb, it yields supernatural spiritual acceleration. And we're going to be declaring that that will be our experience in the month of May. 
That will be my experience in the month of May. That will be my experience in the month of May. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That will be my, you know, we are prayed against spiritual fatigue. We are prayed against spiritual laziness, tiredness, weariness in the spirit. We are now going to replace it as we have dealt with that. We are now going to be declaring spiritual acceleration. Spiritual growth being accelerated. Being accelerated. Being accelerated by the wings of the Almighty. By the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heights in the spirit. Depths in the spirit. Deeper in the word. I attain heights in the spirit. Depths in the spirit. Deeper in the word. In the month of May. In the mighty name of Jesus. I attain heights in the Lord. Depths in the spirit. And I go deeper in the word. In the month of May. This month is my month of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. My month of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. My month of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. No struggling. There shall be no struggle to pray in the month of May. There shall be no struggle to fast in the month of May. There shall be no struggle to study the word in the month of May. There shall be no struggle to no struggle to intercede in the month of May. My strength is renewed in the month of May. My strength is increased. My coast is enlarged. My territory is broad, is widened. Ah, in the spirit, you, you will receive more territories. In the spirit, I receive more territories. In the spirit, I receive more territories. In the name of Jesus, my border expands in the spirit. Ah, expansion in the spirit. Expansion in the spirit. Expansion in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I increase in the spirit realm. My stature increases in the spirit. In the month of May, even from today, as you wait upon the Lord today, an increase is coming. <clears throat> Your stature increases. Your level goes higher in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you conquer everything that hinders you from serving the Lord. Everything that hinders you from drawing nearer to the Lord. You conquer it. You conquer it. You overcome. You overcome. You overcome. You overcome. You overcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord, I receive strength to wait upon you. I receive strength to wait upon you. I receive strength to wait upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, today we draw strength. We draw grace in the name of Jesus. We draw strength. We draw grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, speak to me in these 24 hours where I'm going to be waiting on you. Cause my ears to hear you. Cause my ears to hear you. Cause my eyes to see you. Cause my heart to understand your speakings and your dealings with me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the month of May, even today as I wait upon you, open my ears to hear you, Lord. Open my eyes to see you, Lord. I come against spiritual deafness, spiritual blindness, lack of understanding. I come against it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. And I receive ears that hear, eyes that see, and a heart that understands. Ears that hear, eyes that see, and a heart that understands. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come against spiritual deafness and spiritual blindness in our lives. Spiritual deafness and spiritual blindness in our lives. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We reject it in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we ask for eyes that see and ears that hear. Cause our hearts to understand you like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, spiritual blindness is real. Spiritual deafness is real. When we pray for our hearts to understand, we're asking the Lord to remove that stony heart and replace it with a heart that is willing, a heart that is completely yielded, that yields to the Lord speedily, that understands the Lord. As the Lord, when the Lord is doing things, you're quick to understand. You're quick to understand and you yield to Him. You yield to the Lord. All of those things is what we yield or what will cause spiritual acceleration. All of these things that we have prayed about, that's what will cause spiritual acceleration in your life. Spirit, where you go farther, 
you go higher spiritually. You go farther. You go deeper. You go higher spiritually. In the month of May, prophesy over yourself. In the month of May, I go higher spiritually. I go farther spiritually. And I go deeper spiritually. In the name of Jesus, I come against spiritual blindness, spiritual deafness. And I come against lack of understanding in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come against that lack of understanding. Oh Lord, let my understanding be accelerated. Let my spiritual growth be accelerated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kabaya soloto pekato shteke. Ezusu pereketo zikata. Come on, open your mouth and begin to pray. Marabashada li bragado shtekeria. Marabashada li bragado shtekeria. Mare gede gedo godo godi galaga di gebara kasanga de o prakasi ke preke sokoto e re bo 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 legede he ragadu bara bashiga dali bosho kotoria in Jesus name in Jesus name I go higher I go deeper I go farther in the spirit in the month of May even as I wait on the Lord today I receive strength in Jesus name I receive grace in Jesus name I receive empowerment and enablement by the spirit of God in the mighty name of Jesus he told John he said John come up here I come up here in the month of May I rise I rise in the name of Jesus Christ I come up here. I come up here. I draw nearer to the Lord. I draw nearer to the Lord in the month of May. Nothing will hinder my growth. Nothing will hamper. Nothing will hinder. Nothing will hinder my spiritual growth. Nothing will hinder my drawing nearer to God. Nothing will hinder my intimacy with the Lord. Every bad habit that has hindered me from drawing nearer to God, Lord, I do away with it. I separate myself from all fields, from all forms of carnality. I separate myself from distraction. I separate I separate myself from addiction. I separate myself from everything that hinders me. Everything that stops me from drawing nearer to you. I come out of it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tori mashada li tere mosto koria. Tori mashada li tere mosto koria. Tori mashada li tere mosto koria. I go farther in the spirit. I go farther in the spirit. I go deeper in the word of God. I go farther in the spirit. I attain heights in the Lord. I attain depths in the Lord. And I go deeper in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Eso preke to giga gaga gaga, eso preke to giga gaga gaga, eso preke to giga gaga gaga. Era manama solo to regida barash te karia, oso preke ge 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 de. Abraya gadi galeke braga di arabashanda lika doshteke. Every fountain that has dried up in your life, I speak over it. Let that fountain begin to yield water. Let fountains begin to let rivers, rivers of living water begin to flow from every dry fountain in your life. Let rivers of living water begin to flow, begin to gush out from every spiritual fountain that has gone dry. Let rivers of live put your hand on your belly. Right now, I make contact with you in the spirit. Let every fountain that has gone dry begin to gush with rivers of living water. Let rivers of living water begin to flow out of every dry fountain. In the mighty name of Jesus, let rivers of living water begin to flow out of every dry fountain in my life. Out of every drought. Oh, I come out of drought. I come out of spiritual drought. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fountains of living water, let it begin to gush. Let it begin to flow. Let it begin to flow in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we decree that the month of May shall be a month of revelations. A month of revelations. Access to spiritual truths. We receive access to spiritual truths. We receive access to spiritual truths. We receive access to revelations. Revelations about our life. Revelations about our destiny. Oh my God. I hope you are praying. I just hope you are praying. Because what the Holy Spirit is talking about is deep. 
what the Holy Spirit is talking about this morning is deep access to truth, access to revelation about our lives, about our destiny, about what God has called us to do, about our business, about our ministry, about our career. We receive access, access to divine revelation, revelation from above. I receive access to it in the mighty name of Jesus. The month of May, the month of revelation back to back. Visions back to back, dreams back to back, speakings back to back. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I access dreams. I have access to dreams about my life. I receive dreams about my life. I receive revelations about my life. I receive visions about my destiny. I receive visions about my destiny. I receive dreams about my future. I receive revelations about my seasons. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the month of May, I have access to it. I take it, I take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kora bashanda li bradosh tekeria. Kora bashanda li bradosh tekeria. Rege zuzu berege di la gados kata. A prate su prata shapre ko su prekete zikata. Esa la preketo su pretish taka. O ramba yege de koskutu rabaya kati. Koskutu rabaya kati. Koskutu rabaya kati. Ere baya gadora bashanda, ere bo soluti kabrade soluti yada, ere baya gede gedos kata, ere bo sodoro godia sodoro godia sodoro godia. Lord, flood my mind with revelations. Flood my heart with revelations. Flood my eyes with revelations. Visions and dreams about my life and my destiny. Oh, I receive it in the name of Jesus. I know what to do per time. In the mighty name of Jesus, ah, we gain access, access to secrets about our life. We gain access to secrets about our destiny. We gain access to dreams and revelations uh, that bring meanings, that bring insights, foresights into our life. We gain access into it. We gain access into it in the mighty name, the spirit of truth, the spirit of revelation, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of wisdom. We receive a baptism of it. A baptism of him. A fresh baptism of the spirit of wisdom. A fresh baptism of the spirit of revelation. Say, I receive you into my life. In the mighty name. Even as I wait upon the Lord, these are my expectations. Even as I wait upon the Lord today in the place of prayer and fasting. And a place of Bible study. These are my expectations. And the Bible says the expectations of the righteous shall not be controlled. Did Jesus not say in his word? That whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive and you shall have them. Yes, he said so. And so we're praying and declaring that today we have access to spiritual truths. We have access to revelation. We have access to insights about our life. We have access to dreams and visions about our destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rabbi Akatora Mashandalia. Rabbi Akatora Mashandalia. Rabbi Akatora Mashandalia. E Braya Kusoli Braye Ketoshteke. O Sole Bregedio Shotoli Gebregedoshteke. A Rabbi Eke Solo Brogodia Barabashokoto. E Suliga Bregedo Suli Bragadikas Kuteria. O Skunteria Eskantoria. O Skunteria Eskantoria. O Skunteria Eskantoria. E Rabbi Okotura Bashandali Bradoshteke. One of the things that prayer and fasting does is that it accelerates anything that is due for movement in your life. You know that there are some timings that when the Lord sets it, God can say it is at this certain age or at this certain time or at this certain period that I will do this in your life. That's the sovereign will of the Lord. But there are some seasons that you are due to enter into. There are, some, there are some things that are due you. And there are some times that are already set. There are some timings that are set for you. The Bible says, thou shall arise and favor Zion. Or let me paraphrase that. Let me repeat that. Thou shall arise, thou shall arise and favor Allah be see Adam. Say that. Speak over your life. Because the set time has come. Because the set time has come. 
So there are set times in the life of a man. And so one of the benefits of prayer and fasting is that when you are in that set time, your prayer and your fasting can bring about an acceleration. It can bring about an acceleration. It can bring about an unusual strength and speed. It can bring about an unusual strength and speed. And so I don't want us to end this prayer without speaking divine acceleration into other areas of our life. I am interested in our spiritual and physical growth. The Bible says, um, how, do, how did the Lord put it? Even as your soul prospereth, I've forgotten that scripture. I would that you will prosper even as your soul prospereth. Yes, that's the word. So the Lord wants us to prosper both physically and spiritually. And we have dealt with the spiritual aspect of our life. So we're going to be speaking over our physical environment. We're going to be speaking over other things that constitute our life, that make us whole. And we're going to be speaking divine acceleration. Even as I wait upon the Lord, let the divine acceleration of the Lord come upon my business. Let it come upon the works of my hands. Let it come upon my finances. Let it come upon my marriage. Divine acceleration in every aspect of my life. Let there be acceleration. Let there be acceleration. Let there be acceleration in every area of my life. Divine acceleration in my business in the month of May. My business will fly like never before. My business will take over like never before for things that we have never been able to do in my business this month we will do it we will achieve it in the mighty name of jesus my marriage we speak divine acceleration divine acceleration everything my husband and i have been trying to do in the month of may it happens with speed it happens with ease we are accelerated by the spirit in the mighty name of jesus divine acceleration in every area of your life that will be my experience divine acceleration in every area of my life i go i go forward i advance in the mighty name of spiritually and physically i advance everything is accelerated with speed divine acceleration into my life divine acceleration into my life divine acceleration into my life in the mighty name of jesus i speak it over my life i speak it over my children i speak it over my husband i speak it over my business over this ministry ignite accelerate ignite accelerate if you are in ministry open your mouth pray for your ministry mention the name of your ministry and say the month of may you accelerate like never before you advance like never before i speak to my life i speak to the ministry god has placed in my hand ignite intercessors ministry accelerate in the month of may go farther in the month of may go deeper in the month of may cover more grounds in the month of may take more time in the month of May, in the mighty name of Jesus, I advance. I advance spiritually, ignite ministry, advance in the name of Jesus, take territories in Jesus' name, go deeper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, cover more grounds, take more grounds, take more territories in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak over my business, Prophet One Divine Designs, advance, take more territories, cover more grounds, do what you have not done in the last one year, in the mighty name name of Jesus Christ. Ora bashada libra doshteke. Divine acceleration. I speak it into every aspect of my life. Divine acceleration. I speak it into my marriage. I speak it into my children's life. Oh, they accelerate academically. Asha, Anna, and Aaron, you accelerate academically in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, retentive memory. It comes upon my children like never before. They accelerate academically. They advance academically. They go forward academically in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Get your communion emblems ready. It's time to take the communion. Get your communion emblems ready. 
We're going to take the communion together this morning as we wait upon the Lord. Rabbi Akatore Mashanda Libre Gedoshiki. O Zubre Geda Baba Bashati Kerebo Shatali Gabrash the Cook. Ezegegegege. O Zubre Gede Baraba Shanda Ligre Rosh the Cook. Get your communion emblems ready. Enda Bara Mashada Ligre Brosh the Cake. A cascate macas cotere cascate macas cotere bashara libre gedosh. Araba baba baba sere gede gedos kata. E brege duga diga bragados de keri bashanda. Oh, the month of May is a month of divine acceleration for me and my household. Divine acceleration. Divine acceleration in the mighty name of Jesus for my husband, for my children, for my family, far and near, my siblings, my brother, my sisters, home and abroad. Divine acceleration for Ignite this ministry. Divine acceleration. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to my spiritual leaders. Spiritually, they advance, they go forward, they make progress. I speak divine acceleration into my pastor's life, into my 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 my. my my prophets, those that intercede for me, those that stand in the gap for me, I decree that I accelerate spiritually. They go forward, they make advancements in the spirit, they go higher in the name of Jesus Christ. They cover more ground, they take more territories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Marabashada Leborokotosketeria. O Bradesi Brodo Shandali Brodoskete. O Zobregadia Dadarabashana Legadoshteke. Em baraka sigara gadosh the kari mashanda liya da susa prege Oh, I'm looking for a scripture. Araba shada prege doshete. Araba shada prege doshete. Araba shada prege doshete. Elo prege baba ya gadi gede gedos kata. Aso prege de shata. Get your communion ready. Get your communion ready. Araba sike praba ya gadosh teke. Rogo bobo bore gede 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 baraga diga baraba shanda lige bosta ka. Where is the scripture? Holy Spirit, help me. Hmm, makasa ku bragi da kosh te ke bragush te ke bragush te ka. We accelerate in the name of Jesus. Sale bragaya bashon tali bragush te ka. E credo supre kati makosh te keri mashanda li ados te ke. Mara baseke brobo bosho ke teri baraba shata liya. Take it. This is my body. Take it. This is my body. Mashara bakura bashanta le abosteke. O subra yege baba basho de lege bostaka. Eze bondo subre gada bara bashatele bashon dalia da sin karana shonta. Do you have your holy communion ready? Don't get tired. Don't quit on me yet. Let's get your holy communion ready. Mara bashara le bradosteke le bashan. anything you can use bread you can use um, crackers anything you have just use it and begin to speak over it just take it and begin to speak over it thank you Lord Jesus for your body that was broken for us on the cross of Calvary as we take your body this morning we decree and declare that our bodies will not be broken in the mighty name of Jesus we decree and declare that our body will not be broken in Jesus' name. We decree that life comes into us. We decree that strength comes into us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, let me check John 6. Karabashanta. <clears throat> Begin to speak over your life. Marebo shokotori bragadosh teke. Embrada bako sankali bragadosh takare mashanda liya bostaka. Eze bregaduka deborogodos kete. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Oh, God bless that person that wrote John chapter 6. That's the scripture I'm looking for. John chapter 6, verse 53. Jesus was talking about how he was going to give them his flesh to eat, right? And he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink of his blood, you have no life in you. 
Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eats my flesh and drinks my blood dwells in me and I in him. Say, Lord, as I eat your flesh this morning, I come into a consciousness of oneness with you. I come into a consciousness that I dwell in you. You are not dwelling in God. No, no. You are coming into that consciousness. You are awakening into that consciousness. That you come into a consciousness of dwelling in him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, he that eats me, even he shall live by me. Say, Lord, I live by you. I live in you. In you, I live and move and have my being. As I eat your body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Say, Lord, as I eat your body, I come into the consciousness of life in you. Everything that was dead in me, let it come alive. Everything that was dead or is dying in this body, Father, let it come alive. And there are things that you can draw from the body of Christ. You can draw strength, draw vitality. Say, I draw strength, I draw vitality as I partake of your body this morning. I draw strength, vitality, vigor. I draw it and I come alive and fresh in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. You may eat the communion. Lord Jesus, this is your blood that was shed for us on the cross of Calvary. I received a testimony, about two or three testimonies last week, about how people were healed instantly just by taking the communion. I don't know if I've shared that on my Instagram page. I will check my screenshots to be sure I've shared it on my Instagram page. There's healing in the blood of Jesus. There's life in the blood of Jesus. And I want you to come into that consciousness, that awareness that what you're about to take is not ordinary. It's not ordinary. So you're going to be lifting it up right now. Say, Lord Jesus, this is your blood that was shed for me on the cross of Calvary. And as I drink your blood, I drink health, divine health, supernatural strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive healing to my body. If there's any part of your body right now, whatever pain you are feeling as you drink his blood, say, I am healed, I am made whole in Jesus' name. And I want to use this as an opportunity to also pray against long-standing issues in our lives. As we drink his blood, we terminate every long-standing issue in our lives by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If witches drink the blood of a human being, and by that they get strength, by that they get wealth, by that they take all the blessings of that person, how much more when I drink the blood of Jesus? As so everything that was in the blood of Jesus, everything that is in the life of Jesus, I partake of it. I partake of it. Everything that is in the life of the Lord Jesus Christ, because I have taken his blood and his body, I partake of it this morning. In Jesus' mighty, precious, awesome, beautiful, powerful, and everlasting name we have prayed. Amen. So please listen to me. Our next prayer time will be by 12 o'clock, but I will not be coming on Instagram live. I will be on Mixer because we are praying for 24 hours, we have to observe the watches. If not, you'll get tired. That's just the truth. So if you know that you don't want to quit by three, you know that you want to go through these 24 hours without even feeling it. By 12, by 11.45, set your alarm for 11.45 a.m. So that by 12 o'clock, you will log on to Mixellar and we will pray for 15 minutes. Then after, 12, but after that prayer, I will announce the next prayer time. So I have, um, I'm also going to be sharing the word. We're going to have the word feast. I think between five and six, I'll let you know the time I'll come online for that, depending on my schedule today, because I'm going to work as well. So um, please, by 12, be on MixLR by 12. We're going to pray for 15 minutes on MixLR. Don't eat anything 
receive strength. You already have the strength. You will not get tired. If you if you're just joining us, we're praying for we're fasting and praying for 24 hours today. And so everybody is instructed to just you can take water. I, I I drink water when I'm fasting. If you have the strength, oh yeah, this is your first time. Okay, no pregnant woman. No no no. Please, if you're pregnant, do not partake of this. The Lord covers you. It is well with you. Please, if you're pregnant, do not join us in the 24-hour fasting. Please and please. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and go back. And I invite your friends to join. If you've not told them, tell them now it's not too late. Join us by 12 again. We'll be praying by 12 on Mixer. Like I said, I'm not coming online. Please join me on Mixer. Have a wonderful day. Yes, you drink. You can drink water. All right. Bye-bye.